Matilda Adanyaga has had an ami despite living with cerebral palsy, a condition that affects muscle tone, movement and motor skills. When we first met Matilda, she was a candidate writing the 2016 basic education certificate exams at the Medina Islamic Center. Because of her condition, Wayek granted her the permission to use a laptop to write the exams. Matilda, how was the paper? It was a bit difficult. Because of uh, her condition, she couldn't write mathematics. Because there is no any software that can help her identify the diagrams and then symbols that can help her work out all the other things. After BECE, TV3 followed up at Wayek, who assured they would work on providing a solution to enable students with special needs write exams with ease. Well, anything that the council can do to support special needs candidates will do that. So I think we'll take, we'll, we'll, we'll take that into consideration and see what we can do, which will not benefit only her, but with other candidates in the future who have such needs. The Ghana Education Service promised to do the same. TB3 did a story about young Matilda who would need uh, to write a WASI and would need a, 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 a system device to write. But then, uh, it, she doesn't have it and so the the work is to provide these ones with support like that support is that system it? yes yes matter this case she was not able to do past some of the mathematics mm. topics so our division has also laced with the special coordinator and then other stakeholders to deal with it to deal with it to get a specific and a special software for her after the BEC, TV3 followed up at the computerized school selection and placement system and Matilda gained admission to the West Africa Senior High School. Years on, Matilda has once again made in rubes. She's partaken in the 2019 WASI, but with some challenges. <laughs> Today, she's writing Core Maths Paper 2. This paper involves calculation. Unfortunately, Matilda cannot hold a pen due to her condition. After two hours, 30 minutes, Matilda is disappointed. She cannot write the paper. Matilda, how was the paper? It was okay. But me, because of the wire did not provide me with the necessary software. So it was a bit difficult for me. So I wasn't able to do it. Because you need to illustrate a Venn diagram. That's why I could do not able to do it. So question 10A says, in a class of 50 students, 24 like football, 21 basketball, and 18 cricket, 6 like football and basketball only, 3 like basketball only, 5 like all the three games, and 14 did not like any of the three games. Now, 10A1 says, illustrate this information on a Venn diagram. Unfortunately, she has a condition known as cerebral palsy, and she cannot illustrate this Venn diagram because it is difficult for her to hold a pen to do that drawing. Yeah, during the BEC, we spoke with education service. They told us that they'll give us a, an IT specialist who will help her to, who will help her install the a software in her computer, but up to now, nothing has been done. I'm disappointed in education service because a whole education service in this modern technology this that we speak about there's no mechanism for physically challenging people like because they have the ability so they need help so if they talk about all inclusive and they don't do anything about it, then they are talking is 
not materialize or they are talking is not useful. It's the same challenge he faced at the JHS level, the same challenge he's facing. We did everything to change it, but it couldn't change. So we are looking at mathematics. She cannot write the paper one because of uh, the calculations that is involved. She cannot write those things with the calculations, so she will be handicapped in that area. Despite the setback, Matilda is grateful to have completed senior high school and she is hopeful of a brighter future. I hope to be at the tertiary level to further my education and move ahead in life. So what do you want to be in the future? Actually, I wanted to be a medical doctor, but because of the necessary equipment and the subject, it was a bit difficult to attend to reach psychology. She's determined. She even sometimes encourages some of us who think we are fit. She tells us it's, nothing is impossible. If she has been able to get this far, then we can also get there. It is unclear if there will be a special provision for students with special needs like Matilda, who wrote this year's WASI, but are unable to answer paper too. In our school, we grade her differently because of her, um, we grade her according to her ability, yes. I am really hoping that she she progresses to the university or any tertiary institution. Her case is uh, different. He shouldn't be graded alongside uh, this thing they use for the regular students. But she's very intelligent, very, very intelligent. If you engage her one-on-one, -on -one, you appreciate it. I'm only hoping that uh, she'll be able to progress to the next level. Even if she's unable to uh, make it to the next level, we should be able to help identify her talent and help her to develop it. We are praying that she won't end it here, but rather move upwards so that one day we'll celebrate with her. Matilda is throwing the challenge to Wayek and other individuals to help develop a software to enable students with special needs write mathematics with ease. Matilda's family are grateful to TV3 for following up on her story. I thank TV3 very much for what they've done for me. I thank them for bringing Matilda into the limelight. I pray that they, they grow from strength to strength. So thank you. We are praying that TV3 should always help the needy ones in the society so that they also uh, become somebody in future. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Matilda is hopeful of passing exams to enable her dream of becoming a psychologist to become a reality. Way back, there was no hope for me and now through education, there is hope. So I am very happy. Let's get a reaction on this story and speak to Kofi Asari. He is the executive director of the Ghana Education Campaign Coalition. Thanks for your time, sir. So what was your reaction knowing that the Special Education Division of the Ghana Education Service, as well as Wayek, was unable to help her after a series of engagements? Well, um, let me begin by commending TV3 um, for this kind of journalism. Such tweets um, types of journalism is what we need in our public sector. Mm -hmm. You know, the journalism that tracks um, achievements against um, objectives. It, it is very progressive, and I want to uh, applaud you today and encourage other media houses to uh, adapt the attitude of tracking the implementation of government commitments. Mm -hmm. Now, let me, let me move on to say it. But, you know, our attitude as a people, and this is not only government, our attitude as a people have always been to just one of showing remorse mm. to persons with disabilities. We have not prioritized their needs. As a people, that is how we are. And this attitude and, and practice has, has cascaded all the way to the national level into our policy regime to the extent that the Ghana Education Service and the Special Education Unit keeps paying his service to special education. You know, any time you raise issues of inclusion, any time you raise issues that affect, affect children with physical disabilities, blind children, deaf children, unions mm. will quickly come on offenses and on the defensive and say that we have a
needs of special education. Look at the situation you are finding ourselves in. The Liberal Party is so basic that it is common in every country. It is not rocket science. The software they need to, to, to teach and learn is not rocket science. Yeah. But you see, because the commitment is not there, and the service provider, that is the Ghana education service themselves, know that the resource is not there and the commitment is not there. Mm. They keep paying the service to the issue. So far as I'm concerned, the GES budget for inclusion reduced. It has been reduced by the years. It's about 0.36% of the education budget. You know, so it tells you that in terms of quantum of resources being committed to special education or inclusion, government commitment is Inclusive education is a priority. All right. It's only a little service that we need to hold accountable and keep pushing until government begin to realize that the citizens are not happy. They need to show more true commitment towards inclusive education. Now, she wasn't able to write mathematics paper too, and math is an essential requirement before one gains admission to the university. Do you think people with special needs like Matilda who were unable to write mathematics papers should be graded differently? Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Because one of the basic tenets of inclusion is that, you know, because we are, we are all not the same, we have different abilities. And so we cannot be graded alongside them. There's always a different way of grading children with learning disabilities. Oh. And so we expect that the West Africa Exam Council, being cognizant of the fact that the resources for children with learning disabilities are scarce and are, not, and are not available in this country, should have a more equitable way of assessing them. And, and in this case, Matilda's mathematics and other subjects that she managed to start as you said for giving her disability and the lack of support from the Ghana Education Fund. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And Kofi Asare is the Executive Director of the Ghana Education Campaign Coalition. He's